you want to make your own board game. So you took to YouTube to find someone to tell you about board game theory. Well, congratulations, you found it. In this video, we'll talk about board game theory and the different principles behind it to get you to making your very own board game. Now, my name is Jay Daniel Woodstock. I have self-published my own board game, and I'm planning on publishing another one here shortly. So this is what I know about board game theory. Board game theory typically focuses on the three main points. Game mechanics, strategy and decision making, and player interaction. These points are fundamental in analyzing and enjoying your board game. Different games emphasize these aspects to varying degrees, leading to a diverse range of experiences for your players. First off, game mechanics. This includes rules, actions, interactions that define how the game is played. Understanding the mechanics is crucial to grasp the core gameplay of the board now, game. Number two, strategy and decision making. That is, uh, in the board game, involves strategic thinking and decision making. Players must make choices that influence the outcome of the game, such as which moves to make, when to take risks, and when to be cautious. The third point is player interaction. Player interaction encompasses how individuals engage with each other within the game, whether through cooperation, competition, negotiation, or conflict. The dynamic of player interaction can significantly impact the gaming experience. Now that's all very textbook, but now let's really break down each of the three points to kind of hone in on what that really means. Now, the game mechanics, being the rules and actions, interactions within the game, what does that mean exactly? Now, each game out there has a core gameplay loop. The maker of Exploding Kittens went on to great detail about there, and I'm kind of taken from a lot of what he says about it all. But it is the mechanics in the game that are done over and over again, every single player, each round, until the game finishes. In Settlers of Catan, the really big mechanic in it is everyone rolls the dice, and depending on what you roll, you get those resources. And from there, uh, you then use your strategy and decision-making skills. Now that does bring us into the next point, which is strategy and decision-making. Now, it is so imp important that those game mechanics and strategy and decision making really meld together to make a beautiful conglomeration. When there's a disconnect between the two, that's when the games start feeling clunky. So when you're designing your own games, you really need to make sure that the mechanics and the strategy really meld together in a seamless fashion. Now, using Settlers of Catan yet again as a, a base for uh, this board game theory talk, the strategy that you now have to employ as the player is what? how do I d use my resources? Do I use those resources to build a road, to build a sediment, to kind of build my engine as I go? Or do I use that to then interact with the players around me? Because that brings us to the third point, player interaction. How do you want your players to interact? Unless you're in a solo game, your players will be interacting in one way or another. So do you want your players to cooperate? Do you want there to be a competition? Do you want negotiation? Do you want conflict? This is all really important to kind of hone in on. Now Settlers Catan, with their trading ability, they wanted people to cooperate to some degree in a competitive fashion, so you had to nego negotiate, which can cause conflict. Now you see how beautiful that was from the designer's point of view. They've really made player interaction encompass the whole array of what's going on. Hence, melding all three points of game mechanics, strategy and decision making, and player interaction. This is what it takes to make an awesome board game that's going to be a beloved tabletop classic for generations to come, just like Settlers of Catan. Now that brings us to the end here. Uh, if you want us to go more in detail about uh, board game theory and our thoughts on that, drop a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what you'd like to talk us more about. We really appreciate you and we'll talk to you later.